Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Devil Bird. Clutch and company are winging their way out over the ocean to the little island of Rapatapa in answer to an urgent message asking their help. That's the island just ahead, Spinner. Gee, it looks peaceful, Clutch. It isn't for the natives. Who are they? They're called the Boleros. The leader of the tribe is Chief Mambo. For some mysterious reason, the whole tribe was forced to leave their real home on the island of Tekanapa. It's here on the map. And settled down here on this island called Rapatapa. Clutch throttles back and drops the nose of his plane gently as he descends toward the island. With the wind currents around these islands, we could stay up here like this all day. You mean without using the engine? Sure. Gliding spinner, just like the seagulls. They ride the wind currents like this for hours. Only we're not helping Chief Bombo and the Boleros up here. Let's set her down. As Clutch taxis past a fat barrel cactus, a strange figure lurks behind it, watching. That's strange. The beach is deserted. Gosh, it sure is quiet. <laughs> Someone's shooting at us. Quick, Spinner, hand me the signal flags. White flag, Clutch. I'll show them we've come in peace. They shot it to pieces. Give me the red flag. I'll wave it to draw their fire while you run for cover behind those rocks. Hey, Clutch. Come on, Paddlefoot. Clutch grabs the blasting rifle and waves the red flag. The shooting stops suddenly. Throw down your gun, senor. I demand your surrender. I have no guns. Then put up your hands. I have won this battle. Say, who are you anyway? I am General Admiral Patskero, at your service. What are you doing here? He here to help me, Chief Mambo. You are Clutch Cargo with friend Spinner and Dog Paddlefoot. I see pictures in Adventure Logbook. Clutch Cargo, a thousand apologies for shooting at you. I thought you were the enemy. General Admiral Patsquaro, big soldier of fortune. We hire him to invade home island to drive enemy out. But who is this enemy that drove you from your home island, Chief? Giant condor bird chase us all away. A giant condor? Hmm. Look, Clutch, there's a boat just offshore. That boat belonged to Trader Ace. Ahoy there, Chief Mambo. I see you have visitors. Just to it, sir. Here for a friendly visit with the islanders. I see you're a coconut trader, Mr. Ace. That's right. I'm taking this load of coconut milk across to the mainland for the poor little orphans. Well, I must be on my way. Gosh, Trader Ace sure is a kind man. Quiet, Paddlefoot. That's not friendly. Hmm. Something kind of familiar about that fellow. We go to village. I tell you a whole story. Meanwhile, aboard Trader Ace's boat, a quick change is taking place. I fooled them, but they didn't fool me. <laughs> I remember Clutch Cargo. I'll hurry out to my island of Take a Napa and stop him and those snoopers from coming. The big bird is hungry and his beak is sharp. My pet will fly out to greet them. Uh oh, a hungry giant condor bird about to be turned loose on Clutch and his friends. Don't miss the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Devil Bird. In the temporary village of the Boleros, Chief Mambo is telling Clutch and company how they lived happily on their sleepy little island of Tekanapa. Green trees and grass there with bananas and coconuts and much fresh water. One day, big devil birds swoop down on people whenever they go outside of huts. And they were afraid the condor would carry them off, eh, Chief Mambo? That's right, Clutch Cargo. You say you learned from my adventure logbook about my trip through the Andes Mountains of South America where the condor birds live. That's right, Clutch Cargo. That's why I sent for you. And the biggest condor bird I captured was no larger than a man with his arms outstretched. Like this, Clutch? That's right, Spinner. This devil bird big as your airplane. 
It must be a giant. This I've got to see. I, Admiral General Patskero, am at this moment ready to launch my one boat invasion to drive the terrible condo from the island of Teganapa. You've got yourself a crew, Admiral. Let's go. Clutch and Company with Admiral General Pasquaro head for the island of Teganapa as the Admiral explains his special anti-condor weapon. And when the trigger is pulled, the counterbalance swings this hatchet, which cuts the rope to the spring attached to the hammer, releasing the gazoo. You understand? Well, it's a little confusing, but... Uh... I saw a cement mixer like this once. It was hooked to a steam shovel, and... Let's just hope it works, if we need it. And we do need it. Look, the condor. Great Scott, look at the size of that bird. What do we do, Clutch? There's no place to hide. Wow! Never fear when Patskaro is near. With my special anti-condor gun, which I invented myself, I will shoot him down in flames. That bird looks big enough to rip the deck off this boat, and us with it. Man your battle stations. Ready? Stick close to me, Spinner. The condor is attacking. Aim. All right, you great-grandfather of a turkey. This will finish you. Fire. <laughs> Admiral, please, senor. We are at sea. Okay, then. Admiral. Good shot, anyway. Thought I missed him. Must be a strong wind. That's the same. You scared the condor away. Look, Clutch! Look! The projectile is dropping back right at us. But that is not part of my plan. It's going to hit the deck! <laughs> Hang on to my neck, Paddlefoot. Clutch, where are you? Right here, Spinner. Wow, what an explosion. This self-inflating life raft will save the day. Here, Spinner. Give me your hand. Come aboard, Admiral. Only pieces left of the boat. That was a close call for us. Do not worry, my friends. We are not licked yet. But what if the condor comes back? I have another anti-condor weapon, folding type, in this little box. Watch. Well, I'll be... I never would have believed it, but what are you doing, Admiral? Wait! I just nailed it to the floor. Oh, no, no, don't! Something must have gone wrong. Too late to hurry now. These are dangerous waters. We'll have to swim for it. Clutch! Clutch, look! Wow, that's a shark's fin. We're in for it now. Ay, ay, ay! Can Clutch and Company be saved from the jaws of the hungry shark? See the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Devil Bird. Last time, Clutch and company were attacked by the Devil Bird, a giant condor. Admiral General Potquarrel's spatial gun backfired and sank them. Suddenly, the fin of a hungry shark cut through the water straight toward them. Suddenly, Paddlefoot swims away from the others and straight for the oncoming shark. Come back, Paddlefoot! Come back! I'm going after Paddlefoot. You two stay together. What's it? Why, it's Chief Mambo. Sorry it scared everybody, Clutch Cargo. Canoe looked like shark on top to fool giant condor bird. Gee, Paddlefoot was brave. He ought to have a medal. You were mighty brave too, Spinner. But a dog doesn't want medals. Just good care and kindness from his master. Aww. Our next move is to take a good look at Chief Mambo's island of Tekanapa from the air. I have a feeling there might be someone on it. Chief Mumbo, go with you, Clutch Cargo. Do not forget me, General Admiral Patskaro. I am ready to launch another invasion, this time from the air. All right, Admiral. General, please. Okay, General, but no special weapons this trip. Meanwhile, out on the island of Teganapa, Trader Ace and his first mate, Tubbs, are busy digging up another treasure chest. Open the lid, Tubbs. I can't see. King's ransom, emeralds, rubies, pearls. Uh, I need the money. 
Gee, this is the richest one we've found yet. Stop doddling and keep digging, you fool. There must be more. Wait a minute. What was that? I didn't hear nothing. An airplane. Quick, to the Blowmobile. The condor will have to discourage them. That plane will be a sitting duck. <laughs> Clutch flies straight across from the unhappy island to Chief Mambo's home island. Chief, is there anything valuable on your island of Tiganapa? Bananas and coconuts, very valuable. Nothing else on island, except old pirate boxes. Gee, you mean real treasure chest, Chief Mambo? Full of shiny junk, no good to eat. Natives use for ornaments on palm trees at Christmas time. Afterwards, throw in ocean. This whole thing is beginning to make sense now. Clutch! I see a boat. Sure enough, Spinner. Hidden in that little cove. Looks like Trader Race's boat. Yeah, and the coconuts are still on the deck. He didn't take coconut milk to any orphans. While Clutch and his friends are looking down at the boat, not one of them sees the giant condor rising from the island's highest peak. I want to get aboard that boat for a look around. Too late, Clutch. We already seen. Golly, Clutch, look! It's the giant condor! He's swooping down on us! You big chili peppers! If I only had my special anti-condor aircraft gun! As the condor swoops over Clutch's plane, his giant claws open, dropping hard-shelled coconut right on them. Look out! We've been hit! One went right through the wing! Looks bad, but I still have control. Just hope the covering doesn't rip off the wing. Uh-oh! That will hit the propeller. The condor is knocking us to pieces. We lose control. Oh, my God! It's a crash! Clutch and company are in for real trouble. Can they possibly get out of that screaming dive? Don't miss the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo. with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Devil Bird. Last time, Clutch and company were flying over the island of Teganapa when they discovered Trader Ace's coconut boat hidden in the cove. As they prepared to land, the giant condor attacked, dropping hard coconuts on their plane and sending them into a crash dive. Clutch knows that the torn wing covering could rip off if he pulls out of the dive too sharply. Easy now, back on the wheel. There. Wow, I'm glad we're out of that dive, Clutch. You better land, I think. Don't argue with that big board anymore. We haven't much choice, General. Nice stretch of beach here. I'll set her down. Look, Clutch. There goes the condor. He thinks we crashed into the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> we sure fooled him. That highest peak on island, condor bird have nest up there. That lower peak will be a good observation post. Then let us storm the hill and capture the peak. Gee, you mean attack the condor's nest, General Admiral? Well, or, uh, no, Spinner. The other one is more important. You go with the General Spinner. Chief Bombo and I will swim around to Trader Ace's boat and see what we can find on board. Okay, Clutch. Remember, if you see the condor fly up from the other peak, send us a warning signal. Use this mirror to flash us. No, no, my friend. General Admiral Pachquaro has brought along a special anti-condor signaling machine, which I invented myself. Gosh, where is it, General? Inside this little box, a pocket-sized folding kit. Okay, General, if you're sure it'll work. It cannot fail. Company, fall in. Forward, march. You too, Paddlefoot. Come on. Ruff, 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 ruff. While General Potsquaro leads Spinner and Paddlefoot up to their observation post on the lower peak, Clutch and Chief Mambo swim around the reef and into the cove. Look at that load of coconuts they steal from my island. Uh, they must be mighty special coconuts. I want a close look at them. You said it, special coconuts. Best in world, Clutch Cargo. Wonder why robbers not take bananas, too. Hey, Chief, come here. Look at this. Here's why, Chief. Some of these coconut shells are hollow. The jewels taken from pirate treasure chests are hidden inside. Um, crazy. 
That junk no good to eat like coconut. No, but hiding some of these filled with jewels among the real coconuts is a good way to smuggle them past the police. Uh, too bad you found out about this. Oh, Trader Ace has a helper. Uh, that's right. I'm first mate to the tubs. So your business is smuggling, huh? Yeah, and I'm going to make sure you and the chief never tell anybody about our loaded coconuts. At the same time, from the lookout peak, Spinner and the general see the condor soar from his peak and head toward them. Quick, General Admiral! We got a one clutch! Time to use my special anti condor signaling device. <laughs> Ready! Hey! Hurry up, General Admiral! Send it! The condor is almost here! Fire! <laughs> The giant condor flashes across the peak Help! and snatches Spinner and Paddlefoot. The condor's got me! It's carrying me away! Snatched up in the claws of the devil bird. Can anything save Spinner now? Be sure to see the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Devil Bird. At this moment, the missile message fired by General Admiral Putzclaw comes flying through the air and. Uh, what's the. Got you. Oh, Chief oh. Devil, here's the message from the General. What did it say? It says, Look up, the Condor is coming. Good grief, the Devil Bird is flying away with Spinner. Big devil bird carry spin into nest. Very dangerous. I'm going up there, Chief. You keep Tubbs the smuggler here. Like you say, Clutch Cargo, no problem. In Ace's Blowmobile, Clutch races for the condor's nest on top of the peak. At the same time, the condor is returning to the peak. As he flies over, his claws open. And spinner and paddle the drop right onto a pile of coconuts. Wow, what a trip. You okay, Paddlefoot? Oh, the Paddlefoot is landing. Look, Paddlefoot, look. The condor's head is opening up. That's no real condor. It's just a glider. Right, kid. Too bad you won't get home to tell your little friends about it. <laughs> Come here, kid. You better leave us alone, or you'll have to answer to Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo? <laughs> yeah, I'll take care of him later. We'll settle it now, Ace. So the condor bird is only a glider. You used it to scare the natives away so you could steal their jewels. Look out, Clutch. He's getting away. Oh, no, you don't, Ace. Clutch makes a flying leap. Clutch made it. Down the slide on the side of the peak, the glider races. Wow! Ace Condor is trying to shake Clutch off the glider. Move over, Ace. I've taken over. Oh, my gosh! They're fighting on the wing. There's not a parachute between them. Quick as greased lightning, Clutch grabs Ace Condor and flips him over his head. Ace rolls off the wing. Is that even a black hearted fellow like Ace Condor hit the ground? Clutch dives the glider toward the falling man. Clutch is swooping over Ace Condor. He's gone. Oh, careful. Please don't drop me. Oh. Did you see that, Paddlefoot? Clutch grabbed Ace Condor right out of the sky. Gee, Clutch can do anything. Well, Chief Mambo. The trouble's over. Much thanks to you, Clutch Cargo and Friend Spinner, my people come home to own island now. I also thank you, Clutch and Spinner. But you helped capture the smugglers, General Admiral. Or is it Admiral General? <laughs> Neither one, Clutch. I am Secret Agent Tabasco. We have been after these two smugglers for a long time. Gee, a real detective. Well, I'll be. The Condor Devil Bird turned out to be useful after all. Chief Mumbo see Condor Devil Bird fly many times. 
did not know it could swim. <laughs> Adios, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Admiral General, General Detective Tabasco. And so ends the story with Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Devil Bird. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.